For today's class, you should have a palette knife, two paintbrushes, very thin and medium, a small water cup, a palette, and two paper towels. Here's my artwork that I'm going to be working on. It's been taped to a board, so write your name on the blue tape. Whoops. Okay. Now, before you start painting, trace any line you need to keep with black marker. These are the lines that I don't want to disappear, so I trace them with black marker. We're going to mix your color palette first. The thing you need to know that today we're working on backgrounds and big. So the first thing you should always do when you're painting is start with the background. The background is my sky and my volcano. My foreground and middle ground are my tree and my three, four dinosaurs. My sky is going to be light blue, so start with the lightest color and mix in the darker color. White, just a little bit of blue I take from the edge and now I mix into the white. For this video, I'm only going to show you one color, but I probably have time to do my volcano too, so you can mix that color as well. Okay, there's my blue. Leave your palette knife on top of your paper towel, and paint over small details. It's better to paint, to paint over the top of the smoke than to try to paint around it. It's better to paint over the top of the lava then try to paint around it. Same with this drool coming out of the dinosaur's mouth. Just paint over it and later when the paint is dry you can add those small details. Your smallest brush is for doing the lines next to the edges. So you can go in with your smallest brush and just paint right along that line. Notice I put my hand right on the paper so that I have a lot of control of my brush. I'm going to only do a small area so that the video is short and you can start. So paint next to things with the small brush. Use just paint just on the tip of your brush so that you have a lot of control of where the paint goes. Here's an example of something I can paint over. I can paint right over the top of that. I don't need to try to paint around. It takes too long. Okay, and my bigger brush, I, once I have the line in, I can just go in with my bigger brush and paint this bigger area much faster. You can paint over the top of the tape or go right on to the edge. Okay, I'm going to stop there. When it's time to clean up, you take all your wet materials, put them into your water cup. So that they're not going to get anybody dirty on the way to the sink this. Someone will pick up this. Someone else will pick up this. Have fun. Do your best. Ciao.